Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. The movie industry is turning more and more towards CGI. It's not just to make neon monsters or fill in for dead actors anymore. CGI is used for practically everything. You'd be shocked how many normal scenes are filmed as just the characters standing in a green room, while a cafe or street is filled in around them. But it wasn't always that way, and there are limits to what the special effect maestros can do. Some movies have had some truly enormous sets, like the film company did their best to create these fantasy worlds in reality, and it normally pays off. For our list today, love or hate the movies, there's no denying the sets were truly magnificent. We're looking at the top 10 huge movie sets. We have a piece of amazing movie memorabilia. You see that red rectangle with subscribe written on it? Well, it actually used to be stuck on the bottom of the Millennium Falcon. You can touch it if you want, we don't mind. Number 10, Batman. When many people today think of Batman, they picture a dark and broody character very physical and not something you'd show to young children. But Batman used to be fun. The comics were playful and silly, and the early TV show was one of the campus things on screen. But that all changed thanks to comic book geniuses Frank Miller and Alan Moore, and the director Tim Burton. Burton's film took the new darker tone of the comics and tried to recreate Gotham City as a dark animal cloaked in shadows. This involved building a huge set, taking up almost all of Pinewood Studios' 95-acre back lot. They built the fronts to many of the buildings used in the film, along with roads, street lamps, and manholes. It's still one of the largest sets ever created. Number 9. Bajiro Mastani Sanjay Leela Bansali is a legend of Indian cinema. And in his 2015 film Bajiro Mastani, he created a truly beautiful set. The movie is the story of the romance between Bajiro I, a Maratha general from the 18th century, and Mastani, a Muslim princess. The sets include some amazing set pieces, such as a tall palace room with giant chandeliers and streams of water running down each side. It took 550 workers about 45 days to put everything together, since some of the detail is just like a real-life palace. Number 8. The Goonies, The Inferno For many of us, The Goonies is as much a part of our childhood as playing in the sand, eating candy, and being a massive disappointment to our parents. The film has many memorable moments, but the reveal when the kids finally see One-Eyed Willie's ship has to be the highlight. And the director knew it would be a special part of the film, so he actually prevented the child actors from seeing the huge replica ship being built. So when you see them staring in awe and excitement in the film, that's a real reaction. Number 7. Abyss, Water Tank James Cameron has always been obsessed with the Deep Blue Sea, and it's often said that he only agreed to make the movie Titanic so that he'd be given permission to go down and see the actual ship. He loves deep sea exploration and is one of only two men to go to the bottom of the Challenger Deep, the deepest point on Earth. Much of this love started with his film The Abyss, where a mega water tank had to be built. They used a nuclear power station that never got finished. The main tank was the largest filtered freshwater tank in the world, bigger even than the NASA training pools. It was 18 meters deep and 70 meters across. Number 6. Ben-Hur When you talk about big movie sets, some old relative is going to bring up Ben-Hur. It was the big action movie of its day, it was basically the Fast and the Furious set in Rome, and the big set piece was the chariot race. The scene still stands up today because you can feel the excitement of this really happening in front of you, 
there's no hiding behind special effects. Everything about it was authentic. The chariot arena was completely real. They needed $1 million, 1,000 workmen, and a full year to carve the arena out of an old quarry. They also needed 400 kilometers of metal tubing to build the stands and 36,000 tons of sand for the track. When the work was done, they sealed in all the workmen and told them there was only one paycheck. Well, that's what they should have done. Number five, Stalingrad. It's rare that Russian movies make it to mainstream Western cinemas, but we're guessing that's more politics than anything else, as they have some serious cinematic pedigree. The 2013 film Stalingrad was maybe not the best written film, but when it came to blockbuster set pieces, it really stood its ground. This helped make it a big success in China, where it's the highest grossing foreign film not in English. They spent $3.5 million recreating the center of Stalingrad and the east bank of the Volga, setting the scene for the many battles. Sorry, spoiler alert, it's full of battles. I hope we haven't ruined it for you. Number four, The Matrix Reloaded. The original Matrix film was a sci-fi masterpiece that influenced cinema and even became a short hard to discuss certain philosophical ideas. The sequels, though, became a little muddled as they jumped from set piece to set piece. Having said that, oh boy, did they have some set pieces. One of the most memorable was the enormous chase battle on the freeway. But since it was too complicated to film on a real road, they just built their own, a mile and a half of it, constructed on an old naval base. That's what you do when there is no spoon. You build your own spoon. Number three, Rome, HBO series. Okay, a slight cheat here, as the HBO series Rome isn't exactly a movie. But this set is more than worthy of its inclusion. It was built at Chine Cheetah Studios, which housed the sets for Gangs of New York, Parts of Ben-Hur, and Mission Impossible 3. The series was a team-up between HBO and the BBC. They spent $10 million per episode, which is almost double the Game of Thrones. And most of that cash was on recreating the look and feel of ancient Rome. The set accidentally burned down in 2007, which is a true tribute to the ancient city. Number two, Hobbiton. Many of the shots in the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies are so beautiful. It's hard to believe that New Zealand is a real place. And despite being a completely fictional world, this set is maybe one of the most realistic ever made. Hobbit star Martin Freeman said the whole site looked just like a place where people lived and where people worked. The little town is spread over 14 acres, and there are 44 hobbit holes, although you can only go into a few of them. Of course, if you find the one ring, you can go wherever the hell you want. Number one. Apocalypse Now. This film was notorious for its extreme shoot, which wasn't too far from being an actual war zone at times. Martin Sheen, the star, even had a breakdown and a severe heart attack. And to top off a film about the madness and destruction of war, they did some mindless destruction of their own. In the stunning opening scene where the doors blares out and we scan across a flaming forest, you're immediately transported to the heart of a war zone. So how did they create this fiery set piece? Simple, they just torched the forest. They stuck two fingers up to mother nature as they poured 1,200 gallons of gasoline over the forest. And then they torched it. Come on, baby, light my fire. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video.
And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hello, my children. This is Jesus here, reaching out to you from above to say you are nearly in my good books and to come join me in my kingdom. But first, you must subscribe to Daily Top Tens or thou shalt deem you unworthy of my kingdom. So, subscribe now.